Hello everyone. So let's now solve fractal assignment week 7, question number 8. Let theta be the angle between the vectors u and v. And this denotes the usual length in R3 with respect to the dot product. What is the value of norm of u times norm of v times cos theta? So we know that cos theta equal to divided by norm of u times norm of v. Now, if we do the cross multiplication, we will get norm of u times norm of v times cos theta, and that is what is it is being asked here, and that is equal to the inner product between u and v, and else we are taking the standard dot product, so 2 comma 1 comma minus 3 and 5 comma 8 comma 4. This will be 10 plus 8 minus 12, so that is 6, and that is our answer. So let's now solve question number 9. That this denotes the standard inner product, that is the dot product, and we have given the vector v1 and v2 to be a comma b comma c. Suppose the length of the vector v2 is 3, so that means we have norm of v2 is 3. And the inner product that is the standard dot product between v2 and 1 comma minus 1 comma is v2 is our a comma b comma c and 1 comma minus 1 comma 1 is given as minus 3 so that is a minus b plus c equal to minus 3 and another, another one is we have a comma b comma c with minus 1 comma 2 comma 1 is 1. So that is minus a plus 2b plus c equal to 1. So this is equation number 1, 2. And we have also given that angle between vector v1 and v2 is 45. So we know that cos theta equal to inner product between v1, v2 divided by norm of v1, norm of v2. So our angle is given as 45 degree, so cos 45 times norm of v1 multiplied with norm of v2 and that is equal to dot product between v1 and v2, cos 45 is 1 by root 2, the norm of v1, so v1 is this, so norm of v1 is nothing but under root of 1 square plus minus 1 square plus 0 square so that is under root 2 into under root 2 into norm of v2 it is already given to us as 3 and inner product between v1 and so v1 is 1 0 minus 1 and v2 is a comma b comma c so we get a minus c to be 3 so this is our third equation. So if we see our all equation together, so first equation is a minus b plus c equal to minus 3 minus a plus 2b plus c equal to 1 and a minus c equal to 3. Now we need to find the value of a plus b plus c. So we can solve this equation. But instead of solving and finding the value of a, b, and c separately, what we can do is we can add these all the three equations together. That is equation 1, 2, 3. Add 1, 2, and 3. We we'll get here a plus b plus c equal to 1. And that is our answer. So let's now solve question number 10. It a, b, and c are four cross four matrices such that a and b are equivalent matrices and b and c are similar matrices and the rank of a is 3 so we have rank of a is 3 then find the determinant of the matrix c now we know a and b are equivalent matrices and the matrix uh, that are equivalent to each other have the same rank so that means rank of a would be equal to rank of b as they are equivalent and that is equal to 3 
and we have also given that P and C are similar matrices and the similar matrix also have the same rank so we get rank of A is equal to rank of P and because P and C are similar so it will be rank of C that is 3 now we need to find the determinant of the matrix C C is a 4 cross 4 matrix but its rank is 3 and that implies that the determinant could be 0 as we know no determinant of any square matrix of order n cross n is 0 if rank of the matrix is less than n so here as we have the rank to be 3 which is less than the order of the matrix so that determinant would be 0 and that is our answer thank you